Hi everyone. Um, I've got my notes as usual so that I can try and stick to my points because you know I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. Um, so I'm going to try and stick with these. So for me it's been quite an eventful week this week. Um, for those of you that have not had such a great week due to the ill effects of leaving Watchtower for whatever reason, um, I'm really hoping that this is going to cheer you up a little bit. Um, so I've been wanting to do a car crash for quite a while since I left Watchtower. Um, officially at the end of March is when I sent in my disassociation. However, as a family, obviously we've needed a period of readjustment because it's a massive change, especially for my six-year-old son who was being homeschooled and was joined to the homeschool groups with Jehovah's Witnesses um, for all of our social activities. And so he's needed to be enrolled into school and settled in. And part of the reason we got Brucey, our new pup, was to help him with that process. Um, also, my daughter, who was off on maternity leave, has gone back to work. So Nana has the privilege of looking after the little one while she's at work. So that keeps me on my toes as well as with Bruce. Um, so really, I've had to wait until now to do my car, car crash, but I've been itching to do it. Um, so I had a bit of a hoo-ha trying to get some t-shirts printed up um, but in the end what I did was I got a permanent marker and I have got shunned written across one of my t-shirts um, it's come out really well, it washes well, it hasn't smudged um, I was hoping to show it to you, you'll see it on my car crash video but I don't know if you can actually read it um, depending on the size of your screen um, but it's come out really well. It's caught some attention this week as I've been wearing it around town. Um, and I made my sign here that you can see in my short footage of my car crash. I'll read it to you just in case your screen's not big enough to actually see what it said. Um, it says, warning, the Watchtower and Awake magazines will not tell you about Jehovah's Witnesses' internal policies on child abuse. Thousands and thousands of accused molesters are kept on record at headquarters Bethel and not reported to the police. Um, so I had my intention was I was just going to go along, not necessarily say anything, but I'm just going to stand next to the trolley um, with my sign and my T-shirt and see if anyone approached or anyone had any questions that I would be there to answer. Um, we live in a, a small town, relatively small, there's only about 10,000 people here. Um, it tends to be the same faces that you see in the same places um, and generally people have got a gist of what's going on in the town and, and news sp spreads like wildfire. Um, the trolley only goes out on a Thursday morning and a Saturday morning because that was the only times that the high street was deemed busy enough to warrant having the trolley out um, and obviously I didn't know who was going to be on this Thursday when I turned up um, as it was it was my mother-in-law's husband and a good family friend well I say a good friend obviously it was a conditional friend um, but somebody that we've been on holiday with as a family and um, we've looked after each other's children and, and you know, we, we've generally known each other's business, things like that. So, obviously, as I approached, they saw me come in. One looked at the other one and they, you could see they stiffened up as I was coming down the road. Um, I had my sign turned towards me, so it probably just looked like I was just carrying a piece of cardboard. Um, so they started to have a conversation and look very deeply at each other so that it would appear that, you know, they didn't see me. Um, anyway, they were waiting for me to pass, so I came past them, and then I came round to the side, stood right next to them. I said, good morning, brothers. I turned my sign around for all to see, and I just stood there. So my stepfather-in-law, he took a look at the sign. I turned it towards him. I said, would you like to read the sign? He read it. He looked at the other brother, the other brother was gazing up into the sky, looking left, looking right, looking like a lemon. Um, 
and for about five minutes we were just all there and it was just silent and they were just stiff as boards anyway it attracted a lot of attention because directly opposite where they have the trolley there's a cafe it's a portuguese cafe and um it's it's one of the busiest ones in our town uh, people are always in there for their morning coffee and cake um, to read the paper they, there's tables and chairs outside as well as inside so it was quite funny that the owner of the cafe who has seen me actually be be on the trolley loads of times you know we've always said good morning I've been in there for coffee you know untold times and um, she she looked out the window and then she came out and cleaned the tables and she looked at me, she looked at them, she read the sign and um, she waved to me and she wished me well and um, she also smiled at the other two brothers but she made a point of wishing me well with what I was doing. Also there was, um, the at that point there was no customers outside but there were customers inside and they were all looking and um, one woman actually stood up to have a look and read the sign out to her husband um, so I held the sign up higher so she could read it she thanked me and um, when she was done she waved and uh, smiled and everybody in the calf sort of gave like a cheery wave and obviously you've got the two brothers standing there on their trolley gazing around um, so it, it was quite comical really um, I wasn't intending actually to speak to them but it occurred to me when I was there that I wasn't going to confront or, or cause any kind of problem but I, I had the freedom to say whatever I wanted and they couldn't do anything, they weren't allowed to speak back to me and so I asked them, I said um, I hope you know your scriptural reasons for shunning me I hope you've checked with the Bible because I wasn't put out of Watchtower for any sin that I'm committing. I haven't renounced my faith in God. Um, I'm a Christian. I read the Bible and I trust it. And so you need to check your scriptural reasons why you are treating me the way that you're treating me. They sort of shuffled about and felt uncomfortable and then I started to just say um, how unchristian, unchristlike it would be to turn a blind eye to the plight of children that are crying out for help and assistance um, and it was really empowering because I wasn't trying to have an argument with them but but really the floor was mine because they, they weren't allowed to say anything back but they also couldn't move from their station so um, so I got I got a lot out and as it was there were, a man came along who used to always come up to the trolley when I was on and he, he was one of these uh, guys that he'd always have either like something a bit controversial to say or a joke or something like that and um, he looked at me he looked at them he looked at me he looked at my sign he looked at the trolley and he said to me You've changed sides? So I said, yeah. And then we proceeded to have a, a whole conversation about what had been going on in my congregation and what goes on worldwide and the policies. And um, he wished me well and went on his way. Then a, um, a Spanish man came along. Now he must know those brothers, but he doesn't know me. I've not seen him before. And he came along, he shook their hands and he asked them if they've got any latest magazines for him. They said they hadn't, um, so he must be quite a regular customer up to the, um, the trolley. Um, and then he moved along to me and he said, and what's all this about? So I, I held up my sign, he read the sign and then we had a, a long discussion and I told him where to research on the internet and um, uh, I explained to him it wasn't the people that I'm protesting against it's the policies and when he left he actually said this is very good information thank you and they were there listening so I had a lot of experiences like this lots of people stopped and, and read the sign and um, sort of 
waved or said well done or you're brave or and they were just standing there anyway I had arranged with my daughter to come down and just do a short bit of um, footage because obviously I had my hands full she brought down the, the dog when she came but I, I was holding my sign it was a windy day there was no way I could do any filming really so she came down and just took a short bit of footage and that's what you can see on on my video um, called community responsibility um, and they were mortified that we were filming uh, they, they just they just look so uncomfortable but it surprised me because I thought to myself if I was on the trolley I wouldn't have waited for somebody to come and tell me whether I can pack up the trolley or not if this happened when I was on the trolley I would have packed it up and taken it but they just stood there and waited anyway all this was going on about half an hour went by and then one of the elders came down and just said to them pack up the trolley take it back up to the hall he didn't help them pack it up um he didn't uh, give them any kind of encouragement or anything. It just, it was so weird. Anyway, so they're trying to pack up the trolley. They get themselves in a bit of a kerfuffle trying to get the covers over the um, carts. And then I, I said to my ex, well, my stepfather-in-law, um, you've got the cover on back to front. Do you need a hand with it? And he was shuffling about and the other one was trying to do it. And then they sort of, hurried off down the road but what was really interesting was um, the people in the calf were gesturing to me so I popped my head in the calf and um, they said to me you won the battle well done but I did just say to them no I just won this round so um, also as they were walking off I did say to them see you next week same time same place so we'll see how it goes but that's a little bit of um, the explanation to go with the, the video that, uh, that is out there. So thank you to JW Suicides who mirrored my video. And um, I've had a lot of response through that. And I'm appreciative. And um, just like to say that different ones that have helped motivate and give me good ideas were um, Stacey Lopez, Trisha Frangina, Zeb I'm Worldly, Stuart XJ Dub, Jude 3. Um, Christian Comedy Channel, Witness No More, loads. If I haven't mentioned you, it doesn't mean that you didn't help me with this. It just means that I can't think of everybody. But thank you. And um, I'm, I'm, I've got a taste for it now. I'm itching to go. So thank you. Bye-bye.